It's kind of, it's kind of rocky, huh? Uh -huh. Look at that. It's not very smooth at all. We're in the lab, trying to figure out our fossils. Okay. Wow. You found some great fossils. Brush. Oh. Be very gentle There's because remember it could be very soft, right? Yeah. You go around it. Hi, come on, welcome. We're learning about fossils. Look at that awesome fossil. Found quite a hole in this dig area. You found a lion, nice. Okay. We're making dinosaur egg clusters again and more um, coffee ground mm. worms and T Rexes. Anyway, pretty day. fun. The bucket is getting oh, very full. Man. We have multiple layers. Okay. We have coffee grounds in the shape of eggs. Oh. Then we covered it with plaster here and here. Oh. Then we covered the coffee grounds, oh. added more coffee grounds. And then, oh, it's on a bed of sand. And now we're making layers in here. Then we can add more plaster yeah, so Paris on top of it, right? Yeah. It'd be like, oh my gosh, this is like the most amazing switch? dig. Can we, can we, do we have more toys? And we're trying to make feet here. Um, dinosaur feet. No more toys. Here's a plant for my garden. We're going to figure out how to fossilize this too. Over here, we took sponge and we pinched off pieces so that it's in the shape of a dinosaur. This is a triceratops. So there's the head. These are the big um, big uh, blades. And this is actually pretty heavy right now. Wash your hands. Yeah, just wash it in the bucket. Is this the bucket? Yeah. Can I dump this in there too? Wash just with your hands first and then dry them. And then these are um, bones from the body. Pretty neat, huh? Fun, fun, fun. The mess, and this is what we're emulating. And here is, well, somewhere there's a picture of what it should look like. Or what some uh, scientists thought it looked like. Oh, well, good. Sponges came from packaging some years ago. Saved it. Finally found a good use for it. So, Okay. The box. Oh, so here we are pulling out our animals and finding that it's looking pretty good. So I like this method for overnight curing for the fossils and the coffee grounds. See, now we'll get a better impression. A beetle. I know that. A beetle. Okay. Wait. Last oh, time so I that did one not so fossils, good. there are so many eels. Mm -hmm. right. Pulling out these. Maybe oh. me and drawing the dark green, right? No. Yeah. So that is colored. What is it? What color is it, my brother? Okay. That one, too. Looks good. I don't know. Okay, nice work. It's green. Painting the fossils. We're just using food coloring. Made brown from yellow, red, and blue. <laughs> it turned brown, yeah. Let's <laughs> uh -huh. you know, Grab a spoon or a fork, but just be very careful because we might have some good fossils in here. Yeah. In fact, I'm thinking maybe we should turn don't some of these upside down. Don't do that there. Yes, a starfish fossil. Mm. Okay, obviously kind of we put too thin a layer on um, because it's all coming apart and the fossils are not staying. It seems to be surviving the water. You can the water wash them clean. Is, dissolving. is it? Uh -huh. Okay. Going down and finding more stuff. It's pretty awesome. Dip it in water and start I, don't, I don't know if we can pick in the pencils. Um, let's uh, let's wait till everybody's um, had a chance to do some digging. Then we'll set, then we'll give everybody. We'll divide it up. Yeah. Then we'll divide it up and yeah, you can paint them if you want them. If you want to. Put it on your plate and do that. <laughs>
Oh, you found a bear and a cheetah. Nice. We're finding the egg fossils. Okay. Yeah. More eggshells. We have found another. Okay. What a fun dig. Okay. What